Hi, my name is John Thuman. This is my first ever video blog. Um, wish me luck here. I'm sure you're all going to have lots of exciting things to say. Anyway, what we're going to show you here today is the data empowered Salesforce when it comes to pharmaceutical data. Now, what we're going to show is 10% declines in total prescription dollars sailed by all prescribers in the United States across all drugs sold in the United States. What we had to do, the elements that produced this data were IMS data, obviously, Aster NPATH, and Tableau. So let's dig in, let's jump right in. So what you're looking at here is a bubble chart that is the output of Tableau. Tableau is one of my favorite BI tools, just simple to use. I mean, the first time I was on it, in 10 minutes, I was up and running. Um, so what we're seeing here is bubbles. And each one of these bubbles represents a prescriber. Obviously, let's focus on 719. And we're looking at a surrogate key. We're obviously going to protect the prescribers. We're not going to give that information out. Well, this prescriber, 719, had 443 incidents of declines in total retail prescription spend across all drugs across the entire United States. Um, so what we're looking at here is all the other prescribers that also had that uh, decline in 10%. So if I am in pharmaceutical sales or in operations of sales, I would want to know this because maybe there are things that I'm doing to myself from, and to my organization as a result of my management or there are things that I'm doing uh, such as maybe I'm offering out a spiff that says, hey, if you wait until October, you can get the big trip to Hawaii if you show a 10% increase in your pharmaceutical drug sales. Or maybe there's a com new competitive threat that's causing us to, uh, for our drug to decline by 10%. The point is, is that never before was I able to look at this data in this way, in this easy fashion. So let's just jump right into it. If I'm a pharmaceutical salesperson, I want to look at my prescribers a lot more intelligently. I want to go talk to them and I want to see that what drugs that they actually had a 10% decline in. So if you look here, this is the actual prescriber number that is the same number as this 719 right here. And they had 443 incidents of decline. And this is the actual prescription dollar decline. So 24, 20, and 10. Um, and these are the months that they occurred in right here. This is the actual NDC or drug hierarchy information. So I can send this back and relate this back to my drug master data to be able in my hierarchy data to be able to actually figure out which drugs were on the decline. And this was the prescriber information. So this data actually was generated by one command using Aster NPATH. And NPATH is a set of intellectual property that's only available in Aster. And I developed this code right here in about three hours um, one day last year for a pharmaceutical company. And so what you're seeing here is the select star from NPATH. So what you're seeing is ANSI SQL-like statements. If you look above it, there's a create table as. So there's a CTAS statement, and I'm actually going to create a table called IMSRX decline dollars that has these columns in it, and I'm going to use this as my select statement. So it is a true CTAS statement, um, create table as statement with the select. And if you notice, there's this weird statement here, NPATH. NPATH is one of the 120 analytical functions that are available to you in Aster that allows you to take advantage of big data sets across multiple genres of analytics. So select star, which would be select column names from, usually would be a table name would be here, but instead I'm fulfilling a, or I'm putting in a NPATH statement, which says I'm going to use the NPATH analytical operator from Aster instead, and I have all these other predicates down here. The real secret here to show a 10% decline, which is 10% decline, is right here, the 0.09, and this right here, this, gra this uh, greater than, and I'm actually going to show a decline in 10%, and I've created these things called a symbol, Rx down. If you look up here in the pattern, which means that the previous value is all values that have a decline of 10%, followed by a decline of 10% plus, which means it's kind of like a regular expression which means that I have multiple 10, so it could be two months, it could be three months, it could be four months, it could be five months, it could be six months. The point is, is that 
this is something that a commodity-based skill set could take advantage of. Anyone that understands ANSI SQL has ever done a join or a union or a complex query will be able to pick up NPath really quickly and be able to execute this in, in a couple of hours. The neat thing about it is it's one line of code. Now I don't call this a line of code because it's really a command. It's a SQL command. It's using SQL MapReduce which is the intellectual property of Aster. NPath is the registered trademark copyright by Aster. It's going against a complete set of records and it finished in about 30 minutes. So we're going against a billion records from IMS. It finished in about 30 minutes. It's easy to modify which means I can change fast. Which means I can change my telemetry. Like for instance, if I wanted to make this up by 10%, I'd change this to a, a less than symbol and I'd make this 1.1 and that would be up by 10%. And I could persist this data so I wouldn't lose it. It's amazing. So I welcome you to take a look at Aster, take a look at the NPath statement. This is just the beginning. We have a lot more things to explore regarding NPath and other operators that are available in Aster and uh, I look forward to uh, showing them off. Thank you and have a great day and please uh, let me know what you think of my first ever video blog from uh, my set. Thank you and have a great day.